Friends, in this video for I Thought Advisor, I am going to talk to you on the topic to scale up or to wait. The markets are significantly lower than where it was at the beginning of the calendar year and the financial year. Portfolios are down, valuations are moderating and opportunities to invest are slowly opening up. At this point, the confusion in the minds of many people is, markets are not doing well. Should I put more money at this point in time or should I wait? A secondary question is, even if I am to put some money, should I put aggressively or should I just be lazy? The answers to questions regarding waiting are very straightforward. Most people who wait a lot end up not participating. I was speaking to a friend of mine whom I consider as one of the most astute investors I have met and he said my target price of a particular stock is 500, 550 but I have started buying at a much higher level. The reason is that as I buy, let's say the stock is 700, I buy 650, 625, 600, 575, gradually I will buy just like an IV fluid is sent into a body, I will put money into that stock and I will scale up my position more aggressively as the stock comes to my price target. He is not waiting. He is only doing investment in a way which is rehearsed, gradual and disciplined. But others who think that they must do it at the bottom end up not participating at all. Because at the bottom, they think that the bottom has to be further lower. It's human instinct to review and revise downward our target prices in a falling market. But the astute investor that I mentioned does not do that. He adapts to opportunity and the information that he keeps receiving and the market sentiment. And all along, his focus is to invest and not to wait. What happens if you buy a stock at 100 rupees and it goes to 75? First, when you buy at 100, be ready to buy more because this is a market where opportunities can become more juicier after you buy. And it's important that you participate when stocks are valued much cheaper and look juicier. Effectively, a slow, rehearsed, and gradual investment is what will work in a market like this. Waiting, in my opinion, will not work because there is the risk of being left out whenever the market turns. If you buy and the markets go lower, be ready to participate and invest a little bit more. When I say a little bit more, the tranches you put in itself in an individual stock must be gradual and small. You don't have to buy 5% in a stock in a single day. You can buy half a percent to 1% and as it goes down, you can add a little bit more. Such a rehearsed approach is any day superior to waiting. Whether you are an investor or a manager, I believe that this approach has to be the same. It, there should be no compromises. You should follow discipline even in putting money into stocks in this market. And you should not miss out on opportunity. These two things will see you through when the markets finally bottom out, turn and swiftly start moving up. When that will happen is not known to any of us. But it's important that whenever it happens, you don't feel that you missed out something. FOMO on the way down should be there. On the way up, it makes you act hastily. But on the way down, if you apply FOMO, the fear of missing out in a gentle and 
calibrated way it's good for you and it will give you positive results that in essence is what i would like to tell you as an answer to my question at the beginning of this talk you must invest you shouldn't be waiting doing nothing you must act in measured ways and at every opportunity you must put some money into your stock portfolio you must scale up your stock portfolio during times like these so that you capture lower valuations in your portfolio and i hope that you take your investing to a higher plane when markets sentiments and flows reverse thank you for watching this video